this whole aspect of redemptive suffering which was like a came as a revelation to me during the conference i don't know how many of you have uh, sort of you know have dwelt on it or have uh, uh, practiced it in your lives but to me uh, it was like an absolute eye opener okay and uh, since the time of the conference uh, since this uh, this whole aspect had really uh, really struck me a lot uh i started uh, practicing using the sacrificial beads i don't know how many of you carry the beads with you okay but i've been carrying the, the beads along uh, in my pocket and uh, it has really uh, made a difference to me and i'll tell you why uh, f- first of all i realized that uh, for the first time i realized this that when we make a sacrifice see uh, the hail holy queen we speak of the veil of tears everyone has some problem or the other in their lives there's no difference between whether i'm a christian or a hindu or a muslim we all have problems okay but what makes us different as christian or what makes us special is that we offer this problem this sacrifice to god okay and that is a very very big difference uh, very very big uh, thing for me because i unite my suffering with the suffering christ with the suffering church okay it makes a big difference uh second thing is regarding the the beads okay i don't know how many of you were boy scouts but as boy scouts uh, we used to okay bernan i don't know if you remember that you know we, for the one one of the sayings there was one good turn deserves another remember that okay and for that we used to be you know they used to tell us that you've got to tie a knot to your kerchief so that every time you take out your kerchief that knot reminds you of some good turn that you've got to do now the sacrificial beads are something like that and to me it is special because you know this cross is a little uh, uh, it's slightly big so every time it pokes me here i i know that you know it reminds me that okay something that you have to do okay we already have i mean i know looking at others i know that there are there's so much more suffering that people go through than what i go through frankly you know i wouldn't put me it wouldn't put me anywhere close to the kind of suffering that i've seen that people go through so even the little suffering that i may have i can still offer it